next, President Obama throws his support behind a cause aimed at honoring a local transgender teen. Leela Alcorn committed suicide in December, citing her parents' rejection and attempts to convert her sexual orientation. As Local 12's Larry Davis reports, the president now wants a ban on such therapy for gay or transgender minors. Larry. Well, Cammy, since her death, nearly 350,000 people signed an online petition to enact a law named for Leela Alcorn. Supporters say the president's acknowledgement is an important step down the road to inclusion. In her suicide note, Leela Alcorn touched on the conversion therapy she received. She said her being transgender attacked her parents' image, that they wanted her to be their perfect Christian boy. President Obama's call to ban conversion therapy is welcome news to the lesbian, bisexual, gay, and transgender community. Well, I would characterize it as a milestone, another marker um, on our journey as a community for love and affirmation and inclusion. Lindsay Deaton founded the Transgender Community of Greater Cincinnati. She questions the whole practice of conversion therapy through the church. Jesus was about unconditional love, Larry. And, you know, that's the whole issue here is, is loving someone, living their truth unconditionally. And, and so reparative therapy doesn't even provide for that. Conversion therapy is based upon a wish. It's based upon magic. And I'm a psychologist, not a magician. Dr. Stuart Bassman says attempts to reprogram people can be harmful. He cites one example where conversion therapy did more harm than good. And they spoke about how painful it was, how difficult it was, how instead of feeling that their self-esteem was increased, that it was demeaned. Advocates point to the high suicide and homeless rates among transgender teens who felt rejection similar to Leela Alcorn. We can't live for other people as humans, you know, and to deny a child's humanity isn't parenting. Dr. Bassman suggests an alternative therapy for parents to consider. Instead of changing the kind of person you are, change with kindness. And Cammie, I reached out today to the minister of the Alcorn Families Church for comment about the president's proposal to ban such therapy, and my phone call was not returned. Cammie, back to you. All right, Larry, thank you. The president did not propose any federal legislation. He did encourage states, though, to develop their own bans. So far, only California, New Jersey, and the District of Columbia have them. Similar legislation is working through the Ohio State House.